Hi, my name is Colin and welcome to Marking with Google Classroom. I'm going to show you how you can do this as if you were marking with a standard red pen in your classroom. Over here, let's enter the class. I've already placed people in the class, such as this individual who is a test subject for me. Under classwork, we are going to create a new assignment. I'm just going to call this Science Worksheet 1. Doesn't matter what you call it. In the instructions, I'm just going to put, simply put down do the worksheet. In the topic, I'm just going to call it Science. I'm going to add a file to it. Over here, I've got some worksheets, such as this energy and conversion one that I'm going to drag over here to the, my Google Classroom. I'm going to create it such that every student gets a personal copy of this assignment. Let's assign this. Right, the homework has been assigned, it's over here. When I click on it, it shows me that nobody has turned in the assignment yet. Let's go over to the student view and do the assignment now. Over on the iPad, here we have the student's view of the assignment. Going into the classroom, I see a new assignment has been given to me. Clicking on the new assignment, I reach this screen. Scrolling up on the up arrow shows that I have an assignment dedicated to my name and I can click on the PDF file. On the top right hand corner of the screen, I have a little pen icon. Clicking on that, I have tools that allow me to do my homework. So I'm just going to attempt the first two questions and I'm purposely going to get the second question wrong. Which of the following is a form of energy? That would be A. Question 2. Which of the following objects has kinetic energy? I'm going to purposefully get it wrong by writing B. Now, I'm going to save the assignment. It looks like there's nothing on the screen, but that's fine. Hit the X button and hand in the assignment. Notice that the assignment says edited. Go ahead and hand it in. It says that the assignment has been handed in. I'm going to switch over to the teacher's view now. Over in the teacher's view, I'm going to marking with Google Classroom. Clicking on the first class, I'm going to go into the assignment. I can see that the student has handed in the assignment and I'm going to look at the edited version. I can see that the student has answered A and B answers for questions number 1 and number 2. Again, I'm going to pick the pen icon. This time around, I'm going to select the red marker. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to mark the assignment. The first one is correct, the second one is wrong. And I'm going to ask the student, why have they not done question 3 onwards? I'm going to put a red question mark there. Let's save this. I can give a private comment. Please see my marking. Do your corrections. And finish your work. Let's go over to the student's view again. Over in the student's view, I can click on the classroom again and go into my assignment. I can see that the teacher has marked my assignment. Now, I don't see the pen icon anymore. So I'm going to go hit the X button on the top left and unsubmit my work. I can go back into the assignment and the pen icon appears again. I can go ahead and do my corrections. I'm going to zoom in. And I figured that now the correct answer for the kinetic energy should be a moving vehicle. I'm going to do a D over here. And subsequently, I'm going to carry on doing my questions. I'm going to zoom out. Look at the work of the hammer and says that, oh, okay, what kind of energy is decreasing as the hammer falls? Well, that will be gravitational potential energy. So I'm going to put a C down there. Now, when that is done, I would save my work and resubmit it to the teacher. This process can go on and on until the work process is done. I like marking with a red pen. Do you? Thank you for watching.